Not since the days of Sean Fitzpatrick has there been such a charismatic all-black captain as Tano Umanga. He commands the utmost respect from both teammates and opponents. And on the pitch, he is a real warrior, a winner, and above all, an incredibly fierce competitor. With 74 caps, Umanga has every chance of overtaking Sean Fitzpatrick as the most capped All Black of all time, assuming he remains injury free. Umanga burst onto the All Black scene in 1997 against Fiji in Albany. Now the 24 year old winger hit the ground running. Marshall across to Umanga, and the new boy gets the try. Well, a big moment for Tana Umanga. Tana Umaga, congratulations, try and debut, how does it feel? Oh, awesome really, and it just hasn't, just hasn't really soaked in, you know, but uh, no, it's been great. Now they go to the backs, Spencer holds it up, Umaga! Tana Umaga! And that's a popular try. Marshall back to Spencer, in pass to Bunce, finds Marshall again. Olo Brown, the prop forward, makes a big effort to get there. Now Marshall, Spencer to Umanga. Tana Umanga, and he's up again. Marshall, Spencer, short pass, beautiful work. Umanga, and he makes it. His fourth test try, and a beautifully worked move by the All Black back line. Wait up. Coach, hold, hand off the floor. Zinzan, Marshall, Cullen, Umanga. Umanga is there. Tipped again by Thorne. The line out throwing so far from Hammond has been spot on. Now Marshall. Here they come again, and Umaga must go in. Quality play by the All Black Backs. By the time he faced Australia in 2000, Umanga had contributed 19 tries in his first 20 tests. It was form like this which saw the likes of Jonah Lomu increasingly settling for a place on the bench. Getting over the advantage line was uh, critical on this occasion, but uh, the Springboks have messed it up. Now a chance for counter-attack. Watch out for Cullen. This is Umanga for a start. He's got right through the tackles, and uh, the All Blacks have punished the Springboks for that indiscretion. Umanga was soon moved to centre where he developed a formidable reputation as one of rugby's hardest tacklers. However, he was commended by the IRB for his quick thinking, helping Colin Chavez after the Welsh number eight was knocked out following a crunching hit from Jerry Collins. They're going to go right. Not such a flash pass. Carter though snaps it up well. Carter! And Carter sets it up and Umanga scores it. Wide as Bully Aina and Dougie Howland as well. New Zealand counter. Bully Aina and Dumanga. Lovely step. Another one. And a bonus point. Despite the Tri Nations victory, 2003 ended disappointingly for Umanga when his injury severely dented the All Blacks' World Cup hopes. But he was back to his awesome best, however. First game, uh, we wanted the win, we got it. Now we move on to the next uh, next phase of our competition. And now, as captain of the All Blacks, Umanga proudly led his team against the British and Irish Lions.